It's, oh, oh the... guys, there's a giveaway. Oh, on the giveaway I see season. Teapot Yikes in the Arena channel. Perfect. That's a good emote right there. It's up, it's up, it's up. Oh, shit. Oh, Ooh, oh. yeah, yeah, yeah. 12 worlds. Oh, wait. Uh, curse. Curse. We initiate. We're going? we're going curse, boys. Play. Right. So the fucking game going sound in. got louder. Yeah. It's, 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 it's holy it's shit. Stupid. It is very loud. Hang on. Wait. This yeah. is this is very, very loud. Hang on. Give me. I'm just going to randomize my character here. <laughs> Let's fucking go, dude. All right, I'm just gonna pick a random character here. Just gonna oh, click it as it. One was perfect. Yeah. This one's like a bit of mustache. Yeah. <laughs> All right, here we go. Give me randomness here. Okay, I'm going with. The, okay, this is what we're going with. Uh, you know, we've got this giant mustache here because it's so loud, actually. That I just want to get past it as quick as we can. Uh, there we go. Boom. Let's do it. Create character. Holy shit, dude. Yeah. Let's go. Please. Right, we're in. Let's go. I'm moving into the game. Here we go, guys. Yeah, spinning image. Looks just like me, boys. All right, guys. So now we're going to play through the tutorial meme here. Look at this. Look, it's telling you how to move. Thank you, game. So what is New World, guys? Okay. We got... Oh, oh my God. Where's this? Draw the weapon. Oh, my God. Block his attack. We've got to get him now. Ah, we beat his ass. There we go. Right? Oh, dodge. Evade. Wow. I mean, this is a... It's a crazy ass tutorial here, guys. Like telling you how to play the game. It's insane. So at the start of the stream, I kind of wanted to give an overview of what exactly New World is. So New World is an upcoming, fresh MMO project by Amazon Game Studios. And it's an action-based combat system. So there's, you know, there's no tab targeting, right? Like as you might have in a traditional MMO. And a really large component of the game is about territory control, controlling resources, and large scale epic PVP. There's a lot of good PVE content in the game as well. Like you have to kind of battle against uh, enemies. NPCs will attack your territory as well. Uh, and also, you know, you have to kind of push forwards and, you know, clear out corruption that encroaches on your actual land itself. And there are also bosses, and you've got your more traditional MMO gubbins as well, right? So you've, you've got all that stuff as well. So it's, you know, it's a very different take on MMOs. Uh, more of an MMO than an MMORPG, but I'm pretty excited about it, man. That is the game. And as you can see, you know, it is completely action, right? We have a reticule here, right? We've just got a targeting reticule. And, you know, we to block, you literally just raise your shield to actually block, right? You know, you can swing your sword, right? You know, like, and actually swing your sword like crazy. And then kind of look, you know, a lot of building, there is no jumping. I mean, that is kind of true, but also not exactly. You can kind of do a little leap there as well to jump around. And you have, like, a stamina-based system as well, right? So, you know, um, like, uh, running, you can't regenerate your stamina. Uh, when you, you know, when you uh, do, like, a jump... You know, you can't, uh, you know, you lose some stamina when you do like a dodge roll as well. You know, you lose stamina. It's a bit like Guild Wars 2 in that respect as well. Now you can climb over objects. Guys, look at this. We can climb over shit. Actually, look, you, you're now about, look, check this out, guys. This is one of the, this is one of the best features in the entire game. It's actually the ability to, uh, to crouch actually, right? Uh, wait, what's the Ooh. what's the go prone one? Like, what's the one you crawl along the ground? Is it? You wait, have to, see, I think. You have to I, I spawned first. What's the crawly one though? Like, there's there's one that's even more, right? Like, you can crawl you even more. It. Like it's, oh, it's Z, it's yeah, Z. dude, this is the best one, dude. Like, I can can you can you guys just imagine like crawling towards the enemy? There's like 50 of you. You're trying to sneak up on <laughs> enemy, like crawling through the bushes like this. And, like, this is content, my friends. Right, like that is good. Here we go, lads. I'm ready for that. I am ready to have that going. It's actually useful. Like, it reduces your nameplate yeah, size. Yeah, yeah, so. yeah. You can actually, like, like hide. A... I mean, just... I mean, I don't know what... What were you using that for, Jester? Do you want to tell us about that, actually? Oh, I don't know. I don't think the chat wants to know. Hmm. So, this is the progression system in the game, guys. So, you basically... For every diff every weapon, you have two trees, right? For example, sword is linked with shield here, but you've got other stuff like hammer and bow, all that kind of stuff, right? And you can just pick and customize your abilities pick three abilities for each weapon and various different perks there as well there's a lot of different ways you can go about it and you can't pick everything right um so yeah there's a lot of customization in the game for different play styles right and shield is not necessarily like super defensive right you can play like a really aggressive shield build right like where you rush people like bash people with the shield as well and you can play like a weird like leapy stabby stabby sword build right there's a lot of variation in the different play styles in this game it is good right i like the weapon customization system actually it's big energy i like how Having your weapons unsheathed actually slows you down significantly, yeah. too. Yeah, yeah, that's some nice yeah, that's flavor really here, right? That's some yeah. nice flavor. 
But there you go. Oh, man. You guys are about to see the, the pretty game. Because this is a very pretty oh, yeah, game. Oh, yeah. Right. Nice. So, so, you, nice. If you, if you can... You can, there's a lot, you can criticize New World, guys, and maybe you don't like it. But the graphics is probably not something you want to criticize about this game. It is very, very pretty indeed. Okay? Oh, yeah. And also, this is something I forgot to mention, actually, when I was talking about the overview of the game. Um... There's a lot of crafting involved, and crafting is actually very important in New World, extremely important. Uh, so being a hi having highly skilled crafters and having crafting stations in your territory is going to be essential and a really big part of making your territory worthwhile and worth existing in. And also the art direction is very good, and the sound design is also very, very good too. So, you know, the Amazon kind of creative art team, they did a very good job here, guys. And it feels good. Let's go! Look, we got to get this a bit of an issue. Um, I keep pressing O, but it's not opening the gem store. Up. Oh. So, do you know Ooh, well, how I, to fix that? I mean, there is going to be a cosmetic store, so, I mean, you you know, don't worry. I'm sure you'll uh, better be. you'll be able to, to add that soon, I guess. Oh, my God. Yeah. Oh. oh, God, I'm fighting a boss already. Dude. Yeah, dude. Captain Thorpe. Look at this guy. He's got, like, a giant flaming sword. I've got, like, a wooden yeah, sword or something, man. Like, <laughs> it sucks. Let's go. Let's get him. We can block stuff here, as you can see, guys. We can use our special move. You can kind of dodge stuff. Um, and, you know, you get set on fire. Not a good time, you know? Boom, we got him. Easy. Annihilated, dude. Destroyed yeah, the boss. First, first, and, like, the combat system, guys, like, if you're not used to it, it's going to feel a little bit janky. But actually, once you get used to it, it's a really satisfying and meaty combat. And I'm not saying that, by the way, after two minutes, I played the alpha um, <laughs> a decent amount. The combat is actually fun. Like, no joke, dude. It is a lot of fun once you get used to it and you get into it. It's very satisfying. Yeah, dude. I, like, I'm two minutes in. Amazing combat system, guys. Uh, buy the game using my referral link. Let's go. You guys, know? you got you oh, to yeah. buy the game, guys. Yeah, All right, yeah, look, yeah. I've been playing New World for one and a half minutes now i did the tutorial yeah. oh man yeah definitely oh, everyone so buy Wait, here's my I referral now? link guys it's yeah uh, i'm in uh, i'm oh, in I see you. I see you. Let, let's group up in windswood guys if you don't spawn in windswood because i think you can actually spawn in either for first light windswood or monarch's bluff i believe is where you can spawn um so Check, and i got first light so uh yeah okay gonna let, do the quest and go yeah yeah do, do the quest and we'll all meet up in windswood and we can get some groups together look dude les roy Right? Oh, wow, that's a spitting image right there, dude. Okay, like, that is, yeah. <laughs> Yo, thank you so <laughs> Oh, shit, dude, Cran. Oh, dude, wait, dude, Cran's way ahead of us. He's level fucking two. Holy shit. All right, hang on, we got to get on base. I'm level two as well. What are you talking about? Wait, I'm still two. Oh, oh, I'm level two. Yes! All right. Yeah, Let's go, two. dude. I'm going, okay, more strength. Let's go, dude. Oh, big fucking can. dick. All right, big damage. So... You can have, here's like an overview of the kind of progression system. So you've got your weapon mastery, sword, hatchet, warhammer, fire stuff, lifestyle, bow musk. And yes, there is magic, guys. There is magic. You've got your trade skills. You've got weapons, winning, armory, engineering, jewel crafting, arcana, cooking, furnishing. So yeah, housing, guys. Right, then you've got your gathering stuff over here, right? And by the way, all the crafting disciplines, guys, they kind of go on infinitely. So there's like a big flex there, as I understand. Like they're kind of like an infinite grind in a way, like a bit runescape-y in how hard you can grind this. And it, it, it's kind of like diminishing returns and how good you get at crafting. But as I understand it, like there is a point to grind the stuff out and be really, really good at crafting and actually go big, right? Then you've got all your, you know, your refining, right? So you get your raw materials here, guys. Right? It's kind of like a three-step crafting system. So you've got gathering where you gather stuff. You refine stuff with your refining systems here. And then you craft stuff with the refined materials that you've then you know gathered refined then you craft it right so it's pretty is cool there, stuff uh, like parties like can we party up yeah or? yeah there's you can party up uh, in the game and every weapon guys has this like unique tree that you can go for and they all have different you know different play styles and different benefits and we can get into that a little bit later i guess but, there you okay. go. but oh. yeah basically guys new world very big energy look all the, look Jester, all the doubters in the chat are now on farm. How does that feel, Jester? It feels oh, yeah. good. It feels so good. Get okay. fucked out. Yeah. Oh, wait, wait. Um, now, one thing that is going to be really handy here is that there is no uh, mob stealing, right? Like, if you tag a mob, you get credit. And obviously, that would be very annoying if you oh, stole mobs. Cool. Um, yeah, it's, it's basically the Guild Wars 2 system. It's actually more aggressive than the Guild Wars 2 system because you pretty much always get something, um, you know, from, uh, from killing a mob when you do that stuff. So it's pretty good. Pretty nice energy there, but yeah. Uh, let's sit, we'll, you know, we'll vaguely, you know, stay together and all do the same quest, all that sort of stuff, right? Wait, wait, Jesse, you're dying to, like, level three pirate thing? Are you kidding me, dude? Wait, I need some flint, though. What the hell? Wait, I'm actually losing a debate to this flint. There's zero flint uptime. Okay, there we go. We found one. Flint, gather wood from a nearby bush. And this is actually something that is quite good for kind of, like, roleplay immersion in the game. Like, 
you can actually just pick, go up to a, like, a, a random tree in the game and chop it down. Or, you know, just pick a bush. The sound is very big. satisfying when you do it. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's very good. Like, the sound design is very nice here. Yeah. So here's the crafting system. All right, dude. Uh, yeah. Gilders 2 is done. Yeah, you're done? Let's go, boys. You're done with that oh, shit? Yeah. So I'm uninstalling right now. Crafting in this game, it has like a tier system. So, you know, you have like shitty gear. Then you've got tier 2, tier 3, tier 4, tier 5. And that gets better and better. Obviously, you need to be a better crafter to get it. And then just it just is better. You gather faster, right? You get bonuses, all that kind of crazy stuff. Exactly mm. what you'd expect. Crafting system, fairly straightforward to use there. Away it goes. There's a gear score system. Obviously, higher gear score. It's better. And you also have like a quality system as well. So you can have like a really high gear the score, shitty item, right? With um, with no, uh, you know, with no perks on it, right? Or you can have like a, you know, a relatively low gear score item that's got extra perks on it, like extra magical bonuses, that sort of thing, right? Did all these guys think they're opted in, man? Like, it's crazy. Like, they're all trying to hit each other with swords, but yeah, they're not doing it. So we've got to investigate the area. Dude, well, I'm actually off pace, man. I need to level up quickly. Like, we've got to actually go speed god here. Yeah, i got to yeah. run to it. Oh, shit. Down. I'm hunting a boar. Let's go. Boar! Is there, a, like, a quest log or something? Uh, uh, yeah, it's J, yeah. Journal. Yeah, there we go. Journal, yeah, it's, the, it's called Thank the journal. Sir. Dude, wait, this guy stopped. Dude, what the fuck? I, I killed the boar, then he, then he just started butchering it randomly, so I couldn't do it. <laughs> oh, my God. That guy destroyed me. I wonder if me. the sound effect is still here when you're dashed with the light star. Oh, no, oh my God, I, I hope not. <laughs> ah, I stole Nikako's uh, boar. Uh, look, there's open voice. I, I, that's my ball, buddy. It's mine now. Oh, I, there we I go. can hear you. Yeah. Wait, I can hear you all the way from here? Yeah. What the fuck? Because we're in party, right? We're in party. So, oh, oh uh, okay. you get I was going to say, that is a huge range. Double man. audio. <laughs> 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 all right, let's go. We've got to cook some boar meat now, lads, okay? But yeah, also there is open voice in New World, guys. Oh, yes. yes so that's, that's there's, so there's always the... Look, um, guys, I want to point something out. This is not lagging, by the way. Uh, with all these players on screen. If this was Guild Wars 2, I'd be at 3 FPS and everyone would be not even be able to use any abilities, right? But like, even with all these, like, clowns running around in circles, like, doing random shit, it's actually performing quite well. Is like, there a... not bad. So, the, the game, you know, it's funny. It's funny that we always kind of, um, bash uh, Guild Wars 2 for having, like, a scuff tutorial. Like, New World actually does a really good job of this. What it's doing right now... Um, and you can see this here, in, you know, if you're paying attention to the quests. What it's doing is introducing you to all the mechanics, right? We had to craft something, right? We had to gather something from a boar, hunt an animal. And now it's going to introduce you to another mechanic that, believe me, you're going to be seeing a hell of a lot of. Me and Jessica can definitely um, tell you about that. Oh, yeah. uh, gathering stuff from crates. Yep, yeah, you better get used oh, to this oh. one, boys, okay? Oh, you better get used to this one because it happens a lot. Uh, you're going to be doing it a lot on your journey to max level. So, um, yeah, this is a very important quest, guys. You know, pressing E. Right, you know, a bit of that good old hold E gameplay. Not even have to hold it, and then you can. Uh... Oh my god, I creeped someone. <laughs> Wait, did you kill him by pulling him? Already, a... Jester, you you already kill on sight, oh man. Oh my god, are you Jester. seriously kill on sight already? No, he didn't die, yeah. but nearly. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> God damn it, I'm already Jesse. getting some vibes here from Wool. I'm waiting for, to kill a drowned person with everyone's. Just, uh, that's crazy, man. How's the underwater combat? They're, they're all over the place. Look, okay, the underwater. This is an amazing underwater combat experience, guys. Oh, did Cran having a bad time? Okay, there we go. We broke Cran out. Look, let me tell you how good the underwater combat is here. Um, here at Amazon Game Studios, they know that underwater combat is very important. In this game, it's so important that you can't even swim, and if you go underwater for 20 seconds, you instantly die. Uh, you know, that's the level of underwater combat that you can expect from New World, okay? <laughs> Truly incredible. You'll like it as well. Like they said, they don't know how it's you would swim in heavy armor. So yeah, they've got lore in. explanations for it. They're like, dude, you know, we can't do it. Heavy armor, can't swim. It's fucking big, dude. It's crazy. Uh, I mean, like... Well, if you're not wearing heavy armor. Well, I mean, they, then they've got no excuse then, I guess. But, you know, I feel like I should be able to swim now, you know? But maybe I just can't swim. We, you know, it's possible. But you literally uh, dropped into the water. like. Oh, that's true, yeah. So I guess that doesn't make so. a lot of sense. Oh, dude, I just... Dude, I'm not going to... Okay, so... Uh, one thing that is a little bit interesting, and, and you'll see this a little bit later on, guys. There are some abilities that are very obviously designed for PvP, and some that are designed for PvE. Well, obviously, right? As you, as you might expect. Okay? And some of the moves are just, like, horrible against enemy players, but actually really overpowered against mobs. For example, there is no target cap in this game. So, for example, my whirlwind attack here, uh, my spin move, I can actually hit infinite NPCs with that. Like, I can actually hit as many people as I want. 
um, with that ability. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's really good. Um, and the same can be said for, like, fireballs and stuff like that. You can just, like, wallop a billion people, right? It's crazy. I'll tell you what, if you, if, do you, um, if you liked Guild Wars 1 GVG, you're probably going to like this game. There's, there's going to be a very strong concept of, like, a frontline, midline, backline, in my opinion. Like, very heavy elements of that. Uh, you're going to have your mages at the back, your rangers kind of mid, uh, and then you have your, your tank guys up front buffering for everyone else, like, and you have your healers healing people, right? Like, okay. there, there aren't That's exactly cool. defined roles. In fact, almost everyone's going to be hybrid. For example, right, um, you are going to have uh, battle mages, right? Like, guys in heavy armor who, like, slam down a fire stuff, because fire stuff has, like, some really point-blank, mega point-blank AoE mm -hmm. abilities, right? So you could be, like, a frontline battle mage, or, like, a lifestealer mage, a, like, a combat medic, right? There are a lot of different um, pseudo roles that you can create by mixing and matching the weapons and customizing your build accordingly. Um, uh, Amazon did a really good job in kind of designing the weapons and giving them a lot of flavor. Now, I'm not going to pretend that it's particularly balanced right now. Um, you know, it, it might be it might be a bit of a fiesta to be honest, but it will be a fun fiesta, right? It's good. It'll be very, very big, man.